What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to Football Game Plans Talking with TD. I'm your host, Teron Davenport. All right, here we are once again talking with TD. We continue to bring you the draft gems. That's what, that's what we call them. We're going to go to South Alabama. We're going to bring in a tight end that is garnering a lot of talk now in the draft community. That's Wes Sexton, tight end, South Alabama. Wes, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. I appreciate you coming on. and I wanted to, to get you on just because, like I said, there's a lot of talk about you and and watching your games, man, I like what you bring to the table as far as your ability to stretch the field, at, at you know, stretch the seams, and also catch the tunnel screens on the outside. Kind of remind me of a tight end that plays for the 49ers named Vernon Davis. Right. So just just talk a little bit about this, uh, you know, your route. Uh, you were a receiver in high school. And uh, right. just talk about how you, you went from high school to – South Alabama by way of uh, community college as well. Um, so I was a receiver in high school, um, so I know basically all the you know uh, coverages and how to run routes and stuff. And when I got to Edwamba, where I went to junior college, at, I want to say one fourth or fifth game of the season, they put me to tight end. So I had to, you know gain weight and, and learn how to put in the slide and put my hand down as far as playing tight end. And uh, that's how I got my scholarship to South Alabama to play tight end. What were some of the things that you had to do with, as far as get get your weight right to, to shift from receiver to tight end? Uh, I definitely had to start eating better. Uh, I had to eat a lot. I definitely had to uh, I had to learn how to block, you know, put my hand in the dirt, get in the trenches. Uh, it's not a big change, but uh, you had to be a more physical player when you uh, become a tight end. Now, a lot of guys that I've talked to this year, that's something that they had to do was, was put on weight. and Right. There were some guys that put on weight and they maintained their speed. There were others who put on weight and they got slower and less explosive. So how do you right. put on weight that you need to put on to shift positions and still maintain that speed and explosiveness? Well, there's a certain guy you can go on. Um, you definitely have to eat where they can't be going around. You know, you like McDonald's from every day. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, getting used to your weight, running with it, and uh, just eating well, and uh, I was able to to gain a lot of weight and still be explosive. Uh, I'm still continuing to gain weight as you speak. Uh, weighed in today at 255. So uh, I'm definitely trying to keep my speed with that weight and get bigger and stronger. But uh, I definitely keep my explosive speed up. Now, I, I saw that you, you played one season of high school football. Is that correct? Uh, I played four years, but as a receiver, I played one year, one legit year. Okay, yeah, thanks for correcting me. So what was it that made you shift to wide receiver, and what position did you play um, prior to that? Well, um, I started off playing safety. Uh, I was always kind of short. Uh, going to my junior year, I hit a growth spurt, and uh, I just get a lot of picks playing safety. And uh, they figured I can catch, and they told me I'd be more dangerous playing receiver than I would at safety. So um, I tried it and fell in love with the position, and uh, I've been sticking at it ever since. Now, once you, you got to, you went the JUCO route, and then you got some uh, SEC looks, what was it that made you attend South Alabama? Oh, uh, I originally committed to Southern Miss out of junior college. Um, I met the tight end coach that was at Southern Miss at the time. He took the OC job at South Alabama, and I liked the way he ran his offense. Uh, he gets the tight end involved, not only through the uh, season, but uh, blocking as well. And, uh, and so I kind of bonded with him and got close with him and, and took the office in South Alabama. Now, earlier I mentioned how you're able to stretch the field on the seams. And then also, like we say, you're able to line up outside and catch the tunnel screen. What were some other ways that the offensive coordinator, how, how they used you to take advantage of your ability? Um, whenever they saw mismatches versus other teams, uh, it's just putting me in the slot with my hand down or Anyway, they took advantage of it. We kind of found the player that they had a weakness and we picked on. Uh, if they put me outside or if I put my hand down, we tried to find the weakest link within the box uh, that I could take advantage of. I also mentioned the Vernon Davis comparison and, and how 
watching you, it kind of reminded me of him. One of the other things I saw that they did was they would use the, the play action pass where they have you crash down on the defensive end and then release into the flat. That's something that the 49ers do a lot of times in, in goal line situations to get Vernon free. Um, as far as the red zone, what's, what's your ability to, to get things done in the red zone? What are some of the things that you're able to do and how do you use your body to get positioning and things like that? Um, as far as trying to get the ball in the end zone, I can put me in them basically. That's, uh, my hand down, outside, slot, uh, backfield, any position. I think I kind of proved myself that I can score, uh, in the East and West Triangle game, but that was a big week for me as far as getting in the end zone, but, uh, um, I think I'm a mismatch anywhere. I think you can put me anywhere and I see. You mentioned the East West Shrine game, so let's talk about that. Uh, that whole week of practice, what was some of the feedback that you got from the, the personnel people uh, that uh, watched you practice throughout the week? Um, they definitely were excited that I, I got on a lot of special teams. Uh, I had to prove myself in special teams. Uh, I think what coaches was most impressed with was my one on one experience, how I was able to win. Um, this create mismatches. Um, I think that's what I do best. And I think as far as how, how that week went, I proved myself in that position. Going into that week of practice, was there anything in particular that, that you wanted to prove? Anything that you wanted to make stand out that a lot of people may not have known about with your game? Yes. Um, at South Alabama, I wasn't, you know, told to put my hand down a lot, so it was kind of new to me once I got to the East and West game. But I wanted to prove to the coaches that, uh, I can put my hand down to get in the trenches and, and also pass block and tell them down with them to do it. And, you know, being coachable in the seven match, uh, we can get better with, uh, with work at it. So going through the progression from all-star game to combine to pro day. So at the combine, you mm -hmm. had the four, six, five, one of the better times out of the tight ends, the 36 inch vertical, uh, the broad jump, 9.9. .9, short shuttle, 4.9. All outstanding numbers. Going into the combine, it was was this the performance that you were expecting to do or were you looking to do better? And what were some of the things that you got to talk to some of the uh, the higher-ranking personnel people at, at the combine? Um, I was expecting to do a little bit better in my 40 time, but um, the coaches were pleased with my 40. They kind of expected where I ran because I gained uh, quite a bit of weight since I left here, but uh, as far as how everything else went, I think I, I did I did pretty well. Uh, pretty confident going into the combine. And so uh, as far as how the experience went, I think I did pretty well. I, I think I lived up to my son. Talk about the experience there. I mean, it's it's crazy uh, it for, was, for you guys. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, got a, a MRI saw that at six thirty p.m. Then we like uh, three thirty a.m. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you rarely got any sleep at the combine. So you had several meetings, uh, several things you had to be to be at. But uh, the experience was fun. I really enjoyed it. A lifetime experience. Was it everything that you you thought it was going to be, or, or or even more? Uh, it was even more. You know, it was it was pretty big for me. Uh, I didn't know we were actually doing so much. You know, I thought it would be strictly football, but uh, it's a business. So. Uh, I definitely went in there with that mentality, and uh, I think for the most part, uh, it, it was a pretty big experience. So this tight end class, it, it seems to be a class where there's there's a lot of guys who can uh, play the, the flex position. There's guys that, that could be even line up out wide over top of the numbers. How do you feel? Well, I know you feel that you're the best tight end, so I'm not going to ask you how do you feel, but what is it that makes you the best tight end in this tight end class? Um, I'm very coachable. Um, I have no problems willing to do what it takes to, uh, to get on the field. And I just think, uh, as far as what the coaches say I do best, which is creating these matches, I think I do that the best out of anyone. And I'm just going to continue to do that because I think I should take to be the best fighting. Well, the NFL today is all about matchups. You see guys like Jimmy Graham. We mentioned Vernon Davis, guys like Rob Gronkowski. They're, they're used to create these mismatches that you will bring to the table. Looking at the NFL, are there any particular guys whose game you would say is, is similar to yours? Um, I don't I don't really pattern my game to anybody. There's an NFL. I, just, I got a lot of people I do look up to, though. Uh, I do look up to Vernon Davis. Um, 
I like receivers. I like Tony Gonzalez, or Brandon Marshall, Julio Jones. I just try to take a little bit from everybody's game just to increase match from the tight end and the receiver standpoint. So going to your pro day, there were 12 teams there, including the Miami Dolphins, who uh, right. their, their tight end coach was there. And you, you happen to have a cousin that played for the Dolphins. Is that correct? A cousin that plays the Dolphins now? No, that played for them previously. Yeah, yeah, that, that played for them. Yes, I did. Yeah, Tony Nathan. So, Tony Nathan. what was some of the? What did they tell you that they liked about you at your pro day? They liked the way you catch the ball. Did, did they give you any projections as far as, uh, it, you know, draft status, where they see you going, and, and things like that? Well, they didn't give me any projections. Uh, they told me they want to see me catch the ball with my hands. Uh, I showed them that. Uh, just want to see how I do route running from. From the outside, you know, put my hand down. So I, uh, they want to see me from there, so I had to run probably like 20 routes. And right. uh, afterwards, he just wanted to, he just wanted to see how my feet work was, so it's blocking, uh, see what all I knew as far as you know how to, what steps to take, and he did a little catching drills and stuff like that. But it was big for him. I really enjoyed it. You mentioned that they wanted to see your footwork and they wanted to see uh, the blocking aspect. That's something right. that you know, I haven't seen enough of you to, to say yes or no. But in, in some of the, the things that I read, there were questions about your toughness. And right. I know I know as a competitor, that has to, to eat at you. How do you respond to somebody questioning your toughness? Uh, I just go on the field and prove them wrong. Uh, There's nothing. I know I can gain a little bit more weight and probably play, in more, play more physical. But as far as me being tough, that's not a question at all. They should never question me on that. I have to prove them every time. Once I get that question, uh, that toughness is out of the situation. So lastly, what, what is it that, that motivates you? Every player has has, has something, you know, that, that kind of drives them. What is it that drives Wes Saxton to go out there uh, and love, dominate? Um, I love people telling them there's something I can't do. Um, I'm just a competitor. Uh, we could be playing a video game. I always want to win. I never like to lose. So, uh, I'm just a winner, man. I just I do anything, compete, and beat anybody out of anything. So I'm always willing to work and get better. All right, Wes, we appreciate you coming on. I definitely want to get back with you as we get closer to the draft. Keep working hard. Like I said, I, I like your game, and uh, you know, just keep grinding. Appreciate it. Thank All you. right, thanks for coming on. That wraps up this edition of Talking with TD. Be sure to check out all of my interview segments at footballgameplan.com slash talkingwithtd. If you have any questions or people you want me to sit down with, hit me up on Twitter at tdavenport underscore NFL.